Hello, welcome to ECDEV, where we train future civil and structural engineers. My name is Fasher Ochet. Today, we want to see how we can design the staircase for this particular church. And I'm going to use this, uh, it's still under modeling, but for the sake of this video, that's why I want to use it before I continue my modeling and complete. As you can see, this structure, for the sake of this video, is saved. <clears throat> As you can see, just so for the sake of this, I have to do this to see that yes, this one is saved, though so we'll still continue. Now, looking at this, this particular structure, looking at this particular structure, we want to see how we can design our staircase for this, as you can see it here, and the type of staircase we are having for this particular structure is what we call an open web staircase. As you can see it here, from here, land here, from here you continue, and land here again, and then continue for your final word, landing of your destination. So this type of staircase is what we call a what? An open web staircase. Then how do we design this? And there is software called, there is software that is that makes the design so simple and easy and very very fast and there's no any other software that than what we call kc soft this software is designed mainly for staircase so now last time we have designed on what we call um the last time we have designed on other staircase which is called half ton staircase so but today we want to this uh, discuss and design based on this structure which is what an open web staircase so therefore let's see how we can now design for this particular staircase therefore follow me and let's see how we can design this uh, staircase so what we need to do now what oh, sorry what we need to do now is once you have your software called crazy soft i advise you to make your work easy when it comes to staircase design i would advise you to get this particular software that we are going to be using which is this one that we are we'll be using to do what to design our staircase to see how power, powerful and how it can perform this first can perform the magic for us so therefore let's go on and see how we can design the staircase for this particular structure welcome back you see by the time you have this software when you open it it will take you to this particular place and this software is uh, what version the version is what 2022 so that's the version of this uh, kc soft so therefore once you come to this place what you need to do first is to do what to click on where you are seeing tier case so let's click now i have clicked so i'm waiting for it so you can see it here so this particular software it can be used for three types of staircase so the first one is what straight flight and the second one is what half turn and the other one is open web which you are going to be using so on the half turn we have already done a video a course on what on how to make use of this software to design half turn staircase so now if you want to know half turn staircase let me quickly show you half turn staircase this is the same building have it so let me show you half turn staircase on this place so let me show you you can see it here this type of staircase is what half turn staircase as you can see it here so we have used that software to actually this particular software this one called Casey soft to design for it so we can watch it on our ecadel youtube so that is that so today i want to concentrate on open web so once it, uh, you have clicked on it and it has brought you to this place all you need to do is to do was to now come and click on the particular software you want to design for which is what open web that one is open web so if you now come and click on this one you are getting it wrong so you must click on the particular staircase that's why you need to know the different type of staircase you are designing so therefore based on that one is open web what staircase so i'm going to click on it now so you can see it has taken me to this place so you can see this shape exactly like what like that one you are seeing here as exactly like this one you are seeing here so as you can see you can see it the same thing that's what we are also having here so now this is the time we need to enter our parameters so like now if your client whatever the name of your client is so flexible whatever the name of your client you enter it let's say the name of my client is what we say mr mr john mr john okay then and the who is the designer whatever be your name so you can enter your name here it's, fle it's very, very flexible and designed sort of check by who who is that person that normally help you check your designs and what's the type to so the type to of your project so staircase analysis and design so you can just put staircase design so now what's the date you can enter the date and sheet number you can enter it so that is that so now coming to the main work what we need to do is to begin to enter our parameters because it's when you enter all these parameters that this software will design it for you not only design it will bring out the drawings 
you can see how fantastic this software is. If you bring out the drawing, you don't need to waste your time in AutoCAD to start. To, mm -mm. From this software, you will do your analysis and design at the same time, you give you your what? All your drawing details. So let's start. Now, looking at this, it's asking for what? The thread. You know a thread. By the time you want to practically, when you climb a staircase, what do you do? Your feet, what's the, what's the length of your feet? That's what this one is referring to. And for your feet to be able to enter fully, that not to manage it, I will advise you to use what? 300. So I'm going to use 300. So now, riser. You know riser. So this one is 175. I will use 154. Easy movement. This one might be too high for me. So I will use 150. 150. 150. Then what is the waist? My waist. Or the waist of my staircase. I can decide to use 175 since it's a, it's a church. So 175. 175. So 175. Now, if you use 150, it's good. The only thing that... The only, if I if the person that's using 175 is good, the person that's using 150 is also good. What if the difference is your loading? Are we together? So now look at if this one fails, if this if, if uh, your design fails, this particular software will also tell you. You can see how wonderful this thing is. This software is now what is the wall thickness? Our uh, wall thickness from that place is what two to five. So it's what two to five. Is that okay? So now come to this place. Now this one is talking about width of the landing landing one. You no, know, when you are climbing like this. What's your first landing? This place. What's the width of this uh, staircase? So it's 1000. Let's say it's 1000. Or let's just do 1200. Since it's a church now, we can make it 1200 for easy movement because we have, have a lot of people and some based on design, it can be 1005 and 1000, even almost 2000. But for this one, let's just, for the sake of this lesson, let's just make it 1002. So that is that. Then, if this is our landing one, as you are coming like this, don't forget this is flight one. As you are coming like this, you land here, isn't it? Now, your movement again, this was your second landing. That's why it's called width of the what? Of landing two, which is this place now. What is this width? It's still the same thing. So that's why I'm going to leave it as what? 1,200. Is that okay? So now, and now say width of the, width of first flight. The width of my first flight, of my first flight here. What is my width of this first flight? Because if you look at this, from here to here, it must have to be the same, at least the same thing. Because if this from here to here, is the width of this my landing automatically this one has to be what the same thing so that's why we are giving it as what 1200 1200 from here to here is my width so now this one has to be what the same thing then width of third flight that is this place this place here don't forget that this one we have what 1002 so i'm also making it what 1200 so depends on your designs if your architectural design is different whatever be the value that's what we are going to what we are going to impute into this so if this place of your own the width of your first flight is uh, of your landing one is 1005 we have to enter what 1005 everything will be designed for you so that is that so we are going to design this based on your architectural drawings so now number of steps in first flight in this first flight what's number of our steps let's assume this one is nine let me I'm assume nine so now second flight which is this flight this uh, this place let me assume uh, okay let me leave it at six also let me leave it at six it's okay and this one number of a uh, flight three number of flight three so let me make it uh okay let me leave it at nine two or let me make it ten let me say ten so you can see once you enter all this parameter automatically the self width is being calculated so can you see it now once you enter your parameters here automatically your self width is being calculated now, when it's come to your finishing, when it's come to your finishing, what's your finishing? So for me, I'll put 1.2. I don't want 1.1, 1 1.2 because it's charge. I'll put 1.2. Some, you can leave 1.1 or 1, but I'll leave 1.2. So that is that. But for my design, what my finishing, I made it as what? 1. Point. If you know how to design very well in a product structure, so that is that. So for my finishing, I'm leaving at what? 1.2. Then what's my life load? What's my life load based on this structure? So you discover we are talking about church, isn't it? So being a church, what I will use, what's the life load for the church? It's not general uh, domestic, it's not a hospital ward, it's not a balcony or guest house. So the best value to use since it's a church, you know, church is carrying a lot of things. So it's, I'll use four for my what? I'll use four for it. Is that okay? So I choose four. So now I'll choose four. So the next thing is our what? Concrete density. That's under material properties now. Concrete density. So I'll advise you to leave it as it is as default or 
you change it and when you are changing it, you have to also change it to either to 24 as you are leaving it as it is or you change it to 25 so instead of use 25 or 24 so for me let me leave it as what 24 now concrete cover my concrete cover i'm making it 25 25 that's my concrete cover then my concrete grade now here is 25 so i don't want to, i'm not using 25 i'm using what 20 so you can see it now so if you know how to design in proper structure the same thing when you come to this place that you are going to do so now let's the next one is what my steel grade so in my steel grade i made use of 410 so 410 my steel grade i use 410 so you can see 410 just like proper structure very very simple so after this uh, this one was my bar, bar bar size type of reinforcement i want to use for this staircase is it y10 you can click on y10 you can see it if it, is it y12 you can click on it is it y16 you can click on it so now therefore for me i'm using y12 is that okay i'm using y12 let's see if it feels we you know what to do so is that okay and once all this one has been done the next thing to do is to do what after entering your all your parameter, parameters the next thing to do is to now come and click your analysis and what and design so therefore let's click so you can see automatically design do you see it now it has been designed automatically so you can see it here so you can see it so from here look at everything we entered the parameter we enter you can see it all of them they are here you can see nine six and ten and all of that so one thousand two and the rest so you can see everything here so now let's look let's look at it let's check so what are we providing y12 at what space of what 250 center to center so you can see it now so are you seeing it now so that's for what that's at the fly first flight you remember our first flight then our third flight what do we have you can see it our second flight you can see everything here so now there's something very very important don't forget you can see for our landing for our landing we can make use of what 300 a space of 300 are we together for our landing you can see it but for our flight two, we can see what we have to provide at the space of what one twenty-five. You can see this one now at the space of what one twenty-five for the second flight. So you can see it. So and for the first third flight, you can see one hundred seventy-five. Why the first flight we are providing what two hundred fifty spacing? So you can see automatically this we design it for you. So that is that. And you know our K, our M, all this. And so when you are doing a manual calculation, you know how interesting it is. You are communicating. So the same thing is happening here. That's why you are what a structural engineer. But before we move, we proceed. There's something that's very important you must know before you proceed from this place. And that is what you must check your deflection. And you can see here, you can see at this point, you can see deflection. You can see deflection. And they are saying what is okay. So assuming this thing failed, you cannot proceed. You cannot proceed for your designs. So for your sorry, for your drawings, for you to generate your drawing for you. So now what we are going to do, let me show you an example. Let me go back. So at this my uh, waist, let me make it um, 100 and see if it will be safe. Let me click on it. You see, under my waist, I put what? 100. Let's design and see. Let's go back. So you can see, fail. You can even see, you can see. You can see our second flight, the reinforcement, our Z and all of those things, uh, lever and all of those things. You can see it. It's not, it's no longer what is known. It's known. You can see because of what the waist. And you can now see our deflection is what is filled. So therefore, let me go back. Let me see. Now I put 100. So now based on you, you are the structural engineer. I take it back to what 175 and see. And let's go back. 175 and see. You can see everything appears. So you can see this how wonderful this set software is. So you can see if not because of this, this because of this video, if I'm designed for a client like for that church now, by the time I finish everything, I want to design this staircase now. You can see within some minutes I'm done. I don't waste my time at all. So therefore, let's now generate our drawing. Your question will now be how do I generate my drawings? It's very, very simple. What I say is very, very simple. So what you are going to do now is what? Is to come back to this place to generate your drawing and click on what? DXF. What I say? DXF to check your what? Your drawings to generate for you for printing. So therefore, let's click and wait for it. So while we are waiting for it, I want to advise you that in case you have not enrolled for academic mentorship class, it's very, very important you can enroll. This is where we train people beyond here. There are some things we may want to tell you, but because of this, of the kind of lecture we are out to do on this video, you might not be able to go further. We might concentrate on only on this particular video. But for us to teach you, to give you everything that we know, that will make you a better engineer to meet up with the standard outside the business world, 
there is need for you to do what to enroll to what epidel mentorship class and not only that we also have a what we call a epidel group our advice is to join where other engineers advice give advice their own advice on structure somebody who is try to design and is trying facing a lot of challenges or some challenges he posts the questions and before you other engineers quickly contribute and solve the problem likewise you too if you join the epidel group you can also share your own idea and you have any question you can also post it whereby others will also respond to your question to help you solve your question all of this is to see how this world can be a better place for us when it comes to engineering so that is that so you can see it has come up so you can see automatically generated so you can see you are ready to do what to print what i say you are ready to do what to print your work so you can see it everything from first flight second flight and third flight flight so you can see your landing you can see here and you can see your last flight here so you can see everything as what automatically be what be done so you can see you can see it very very interesting so it, i can see the call out you can see everything so you can see so it's very very wonderful so you can see that you don't without any stress you don't need to waste your energy or anything mm -mm. automatically it has been calculated so this is the software power the, the magic of this particular software so you can see it we are done with our design so let me go back so this is what cases soft our advice to you to get this particular software there are a lot of done things we have done designs we have done on Ekiden. our advice you to do what to go and also subscribe to this particular channel if you subscribe you'll be able to check, check you get our videos on youtube the one we have done at the same time the one we are also posting newly you'll be able to have access and be notified so if you love this video and you want others to also be part of this knowledge that's Ekidel. We, want, we don't hide our knowledge. You can also call people, your friends who want to be a better engineers to also be part of Ekidel, you know, lecture. They can watch our videos on YouTube and give this video a thumbs up, like this video and also advise others. Till then, that will be talking about part two, or sorry, part three, which is what? Design of what? Straight stairs. So God bless you till we meet again. Thank you.